30 prayer points to break down fear. Fear can be an emotion. There could be a fear, fear of the Lord. But the kind of fear I'm talking about that we want to break is a spiritual fear. The Bible says that God has not given us spirit of fear. And so sometimes behind that fear, this crippling feeling of insecurity, anxiety and as well as paranoia could be a spiritual forces. I personally have experienced that growing up, fear of the dark, fear of people, fear of public places, public speaking and it was not normal, natural, healthy fear. It was actually spiritual forces were behind it and so I want to share with you some of the things that you can do to combat against it. In Psalm 27 verses 1 to 3 it says that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even the, my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host would encamp around me or against me, my heart shall not fear. Though the war rises against me, in this will I be confident. For the next 10 days, I don't want you to miss one day and take time to begin to pray these prayer points, declare these prayer points. I want you to do it with a clear mind. I want you to do it with a great emotion, great conviction. I want you to do it with a strong will and with your whole heart. And I believe that you will experience a release, a breakthrough and a spiritual deliverance in your emotions and in your mind so that you can see a greater measure of faith, courage and boldness. As I am going to pray or declare these things over you, you can repeat them after me. Right here below this video you can actually download or go on my telegram and download these prayer points and join and repeat them afterwards. Now these ones, particular ones, I actually didn't write them out. Um, I'm part of a Bible college or Bible school and part of our discipleship was to actually pray these out and, and as I was reading them through it, they really blessed me so I just want to share them with you as well. First one, in the name of Jesus, I refuse to fear because God has not given me the spirit of fear but of power, love, and sound mind. The second one, I bind the spirit of fear in my life in the name of Jesus. Third one, I break every evil covenant that has brought fear into my life in the name of Jesus. Number four, I command every terror of the night that has brought fear to stop and move from my environment in the name of Jesus. Number five, you spirit of fear, loose your hold upon my life, upon my family, in Jesus' name. Number six, I command all human agents using spirits of fear to terrify me in the night to stumble and fall in the name of Jesus. Number seven, the fear and terror of the unbelievers shall not be my lot in the name of of Jesus. Number eight, my tomorrow is blessed by God. Therefore, all spirits responsible for fear of tomorrow, I bind you in Jesus' name. Number nine, my destiny is attached to God. Therefore, I declare that I will not fail in the name of Jesus. Number ten, every bondage that I am subjecting myself to by the spirit of fear, I break you in Jesus' name. Number 11, all negative doors that the spirit of fear has opened in the past be closed right now in Jesus' name. Number 12, every disease, oppression and depression in my life as a result of fear disappear now in Jesus' name. Number 13, I refuse to be intimidated by any demonic nightmare in the name of Jesus. Number 14, every spoken word of fear being made against me, I commend you to fail in Jesus' name.
Number 15. All generational fear in my home with the enemies outside shall not stand in Jesus name. Number 16. All plans of the devil concerning my home shall not stand nor come to pass in the name of Jesus. Number 17. I destroy all efforts of the enemy to frustrate my work in the name of Jesus. Number 18. I nullify every writing, agreement or covenant against my work in the name of Jesus. Number 19. Father God, increase my greatness and comfort me on every side in the name of Jesus. Number 20. O Lord, as you delight in my prosperity, bless my work. No enemy controls me any longer in Jesus' name. Number 21. Let all spirits against me without cause in my work turn back and be brought to confusion in Jesus' name. I close every door through which the enemies have been working against my work in Jesus' name. Number 23. No weapon of Satan and his agents fashioned against me shall prosper in Jesus' name. Number 24. My life is hid with Christ in God. Therefore, nobody can kill me or harm me in the name of Jesus. Number 25. I open wide all the doors leading to blessing, victory and breakthrough that the enemies have closed in Jesus' name. Number 26. I bind every spirit of frustration, defeat, delayed blessing and fear in my life in Jesus' name. Number 27. I banish every enemy of progress in my life in the name of Jesus. Number 28. I bind the spirit of death, armed robbery and assassination in my life in Jesus' name. Number 29. I reject, renounce and destroy every evil argument or covenant in my life in the name of Jesus. And the 30th. By the blood of Jesus, I nullify the operation of evil forces around my house in Jesus' name. I just speak that blessing right now over you. If you've battled with fear, nightmares, terror, anxiety, um, and you know it's not natural, just pray these prayers of victory, of breakthrough into your life. If you got delivered from fear but you're still on the outside getting tempted with that, take your position, submit to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. And these are the prayer confessions that you can use to resist the spirit of fear that is trying to gain access into your life by you agreeing with its lies. Thank you for watching this video. Hit like to this video, share this with other people who maybe you know are battling with fear. Or let me know in the comments if you have a testimony of freedom from fear so we can celebrate and encourage other people. God bless you.